What is up guys? We are back and today I am working on the Civic again. It's actually the same day as the putting together video. So I hope you guys check that video out. But today's video is going to be on the motor and uh, we're going to be doing a coil on plug uh, conversion and getting rid of the distributor and the plug wires. So in order to do that, I'm using a more affordable, uh, probably the cheapest one on the market right now. It's the Burton Racing uh, kit. So here's the box. I just got it from him uh, back. I sent the ECU out to get soldered his chip in there. Uh, he has two options. You can either just do it yourself or just ship it to him and he'll install it for free, no charge. So in the kit, I have my ECU. I already unboxed it, but ECU, there is the wiring harness in this one, which will allow you to, allow you to run the coils. And I'm using a CRV, K24 coils uh, that I got from the junkyard. If you guys don't have coils, you can buy them from him. But I just went ahead and got them from the junkyard. They're a lot cheaper. I think they were like 10 bucks a coil. So all in all, 40 bucks. And then his kit is, I believe it's around 340, 350. But he had a July sale going on. And then I used SB Tunings. 10% uh, off uh, Q code so I use that and then uh, also he shipped out uh, one of these uh, cup holder things and then a uh, little card and then a pop socket for your phone so I'm not sure if he does that all the time or if it was just the 4th of July sale and then it also has stickers and then heat shrink for the plugs so we're gonna get into it and uh, start hooking it all up so as you can see I already went ahead and put the coils in and then I bought a coil plate on eBay for like 30 bucks um, so you can just pull your plug wires off uh, first so we're gonna be getting rid of these entirely So you can get rid of these and then uh, yeah so this plate just bolts down to the uh, valve cover and then the coils themselves bolt down. So you can buy them pretty cheap on eBay and then we're going to go ahead and install the wiring harness set up and then run it through the firewall. Alright to start I'm going to unbolt these coils. pop these up so the kit the wiring harness itself is really nice it's got this nice uh, coating on it or this cover on the wires and then they're OEM style plugs so the longest one is going to go to the farthest away just snap that in it's really tight snap Snap each one in. Get it nice and clean. And then you can push your coils back down. Make sure they're seated fully. And tuck your wires back nice and clean and then bolt them back down you don't want these coming loose or it can cause issues tighten them back down and 
And this kit comes with the full directions uh, printed off. So you can follow that. Or just check out SB Tuning's got a video on it. And then Burton Racing has a video themselves on it on YouTube. I can put the link below. And then run these down, tuck that down under. And it makes it nice and clean, cleans up the bay a little bit. And then we're going to get into the next part. So once you have your uh, wiring harness plugged into the coils, then you're going to run your harness down here. And then he says to use the bottom uh, distributor bolt, which is a 12 millimeter. So I'm going to back that out. And then we're going to use that for our ground. And there's a connector on the harness. Show you that once I get this bolt out. So take this bolt, run it through here, and then run it back into the distributor. That's good and tight. So once you run it through the firewall, uh, you have your east. ECU and then plug that in like that and then you can go ahead and plug your stock stuff back in so I'm gonna do that now and then after uh, I get all that hooked up I'll pick back up alright guys so once you plug the coils in uh, like I showed undo the bottom distributor bolt Pull that out and hook that as your ground. And then go ahead and pull your uh, yellow and black wire out and blue wire. Pull that out and then plug the harness right into it. Uh, they say you can unpin it, but these fit right in. I think on the OBD2 uh, ports, you have to unpin this big one. But since on OBD2, uh, OBD1, you can just unplug this and plug this in. Uh, I might tape that up so it doesn't vibrate out. And then you can put a delete plate on there if you want. And then I ran the uh, right through the firewall. And then I plugged it into the ECU here. And then plugged my stock stuff back in. Then he gives you an extra uh, wire loom. That way you can wrap it up or if you have it mounted somewhere else. So we're going to do a startup and see how it fires up and we'll go from there. So the car is idling, seems to be working great. Uh, we'll have to keep you guys updated on it, but uh, sounds pretty good. And this is with no muffler on the back because I took it off when we went to paint. There's the muffler. So it's a little loud, louder than usual, but sounds pretty good. So we're gonna shut it off. So yeah, that's the install on the coil on plug 
uh, Burton Racing uh, kit. It's pretty affordable compared to a uh, Ondetta or AEM where it uses this, but it's still using a reliable source and uh, it looks great. It all fits great and uh, if you don't like soldering, you can just send your ECU out to him. So yeah, uh, I'll put a link to his website in the description and to his channel and then also use SB Tuning's uh, discount code. It saved me uh, 10 or 15% off. So yeah, that's a uh, coil on plug install on my B18 C1 GSR Turbo. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Please subscribe for more and peace.